Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my channel. If you are a Christmas lover, then you're going to enjoy this haul. I went to the Durham Rescue Mission outlet yesterday and thrifted a whole bunch of Christmas items. So I want to share those with you as well as some other things that I picked up while I was there yesterday. So let's go ahead and get started with today's thrift haul. I want to start first with some shoes that I failed to show you in my last video. I went to the Winston-Salem Goodwill outlet several weeks ago and I shared what I picked up there in my last video on Friday, I believe it was, and I forgot all about several pairs of shoes that I purchased. These are all for resale, so let me go ahead and kind of get things caught up and show you what those are. I have already done some research on these shoes, so let me tell you what I found out about them. Uh, this first pair, these are going to be going to Play It Again Sports. They are a six and a half youth uh, Under Armour Blur. They are soccer uh, shoes or cleats, I think they might call them. Uh, but as you know, if you've been watching me for a little while on my shoe hauls, any of the sports shoes that I get, excluding sneakers, I'm now taking to Play It Again Sports. Um, so I have a bag that's waiting to go to them now. Hopefully I'll get those to them uh, sometime later this week. Uh, the next pair is a pair of, uh, let me see here, Ingaro. Oh, that's not them. <laughs> here they are. Uh, Ingaro, there's the... The label inside these are a size seven and a half in very good condition uh, these are the mary jane style uh, let me see and these are actually called jane and this is an all man-made material size seven and a half and i'll be listing these for about 26 dollars i picked up a second pair of ingaro in the mary jane style and I wasn't paying real attention when I was at the outlet. I guess I was just excited over everything that I was finding at the time, but they had some cracking along here when I went to do more to do some research on them. Uh, so those I'm actually going to be tossing away because I can't imagine that anyone uh, would want those shoes with the cracks in them if I were to donate them. Uh, next pair is by Dr. Comfort. This also looks like a Mary Jane style too. It has a little flower on the front here. Uh, this is called Paradise. It's a nine wide and they retail anywhere between uh, 80 and $140 and list price is generally about $40. Um, this is a brand spanking new. Oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Forget you saw that. Let's get to these Brooks first. <laughs> Found a pair of Brooks. They need a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, they are a seven medium. It's the DNA. It's a running shoe. They retail for $130, list for about $40. And then the last pair that I failed to show you from that Goodwill outlet haul is this pair of Ariat, kind of an ankle boot here. Um, they do need to be cleaned up. You can see that that is really not a problem. You can I just stand over a trash can and kind of um, pick that dirt out of the treads, clean that up, and then I'll be putting some um, leather conditioner on these and see if I can brighten them up a little bit. These are an, a seven and a half B uh, ankle boot, and if I can get them cleaned up and looking good, I'll be listing these for about $40. Okay, so that gets me caught up on what I didn't show you from the Goodwill outlet haul. Now let's get back to the Durham Rescue Mission outlet haul. First I want to share with you the things that I picked up for myself. There was really not a whole lot. Everything that I'm going to show you now I paid $25.52 for which includes the tax. I found one, two, two, four, five packets of these pom-poms which will dress up my packages this coming year for Christmas. And these alone were $4 a piece in the store. So $20 right there. And I only spent $25 on everything. So you've got to love thrifting. What else am I keeping for 
myself. You know what? I think that, <laughs> I think that was it. Yep. I think that's it. Everything else that I'm going to show you is going to be for resale. And if you're new to my channel and you enjoy uh, thrift haul videos, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel and make sure you hit that all notifications bell so you will be notified, of course, when YouTube are, YouTube will notify you when I upload uh, more videos. Now, I do start my new job tomorrow, and I am planning on having a very mini sale tomorrow evening on my, cha on my channel here live at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I am only going to have about 20 items. Um, I want to kind of start, start things off slowly with this new job because uh, I like to get the requ PayPal requests out to folks and items shipped out to folks in a very timely manner. So I'm, I'm starting small. I'm going to kind of play it by ear and see how things go. So uh, if you like live sales, I hope you can join me tomorrow evening for that sale. But back to today's haul. <clears throat> These are not Christmas, but these are really cool. I have no idea what kind of value they have. I just thought they were neat. So we have um, this, it's an Echo, what does this say? Bell Metal Reeds Harmonica. And it's a large one. Now this one did not come with the box. I did search for it in the, in the bin. I could not find it. So I found this one and then I found this one. Uh, organ Tone Auto Valve Harp, M. Ho Honer. And this one I was able to find the box for. I don't know that either one of these can be played. Um, they're a little crusty around the mouthpiece there. But for display or just for a collector, I, just, I thought they were pretty cool. And there also is Made in Germany. That second one that I showed you. I found five of these little reindeer tea light candle holders. Absolutely adorable. Twisted little legs on them. So I picked up all five of them because they do say when you're decorating, um, you should decorate in odd numbers. So hence the five. I got several ornaments, and this is one of them. First, this mermaid sitting on her coral. Really pretty with the sequins on it and the very, very sea beachy colors to it. She's in perfect condition. I was so happy about that. Her fingers are intact. Her fin is on her tail. None of the coral is broken. So I was happy to rescue her. These I'm going to have to fix up just a little tiny bit. They are s'mores magnets that would go on your fridge. Uh, let me see here. What does it say here? Uh, they're polystone. Now the reason, oh, here, this is what I was looking for. Let me grab my glasses real fast. Uh, made in China by Gift Co. Incorporated. Oh, this was a fundraiser for a school, it says on there. Now, what has to be fixed is the magnets on both of the little s'mores have come off. But that is a super easy fix with the handy-dandy glue gun. Just put that right back on the back of it. And how cute is he? He would look adorable on the fridge with his little identical mate in this coming uh fall into Christmas and we'll put him back in here because I don't want to lose that magnet oh and here comes Lewis he's got to come prancing through everything buddy don't knock anything off there's not a whole lot of room for you I'm sorry <laughs> I love this ornament keep Christ in Christmas I have a little pet pet peeve about Christmas and that is when people spell it Xmas that's just one of my pet peeves I always always spell out Christmas when I am uh, typing or writing Christmas in anything but I thought this was a really pretty bulb let's see if I can get that off of there and show it to you a little more close up yep so new in the box still Oh, come on now. 
get in there. <clears throat> Found three Christmas kitchen towels. Uh, these I would like to, when the time comes, sell these in a lot just because the colors are so coordinating and I think they just look really good together. Buddy. This is from, is this from FTD? Yep, yeah, this is from FTD Floral. This, I'm sure flowers or a plant came in this, but how amazing and beautiful is that? And you could use that come Christmas time as a candy dish, I think. Um, you could do an arrangement in here too, if you would like, but I think this would make an absolutely beautiful candy dish. And there's no chips in the paint. There's no chips on this itself. So I was pretty, pretty happy to find that. Okay, I'm going to pick up Lewis and put him down before he breaks something. Say hi, Lewis, after he bites my hand. Okay, get down. Ow, ow, ow Lewis, no. Ow. Oh, gosh. This was from Yankee Candle. One single tea light candle holder. I could not find the other, but I thought this was really pretty. And one of these would work just beautifully, I think, in a vignette. Beautiful little stained glass ornament here. Oops, wait, this is caught. There we are. Beautiful stained glass ornament in perfect condition. Love this. Found a vintage angel tree topper. I believe she was made in Taiwan. Let me take her out of her box and show her to you. Now she, no, she does not light up. She is just pretty all by herself with her gold wings. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a little bit of sparkle in her gown. There's a tag in here. She was original. Well, let's see. The Department store retail price, it says, was $32. The deep discounted price was $13 when she was initially for sale. I thought she was very, very pretty. Now, I know I said no more, but my friend Kelly was at the bins. I did not see this lovely lady right here. Kelly found her and brought her over to me, asked if I had seen her. I had not. So there she is. So I have another Madonna for my collection, even though I said no more. Now she, one of her little fingers is broken off right there and she has a chip in her veil, but that's okay. And I might be able to fix both of those with the air dried clay and then some glossy white paint, I will see. But even with the flaws, I just had to get her. And she is made by Napco. And as you can see, she's holding baby Jesus. This is not Christmas, but really, really pretty. Um, carnival glass, and I think it's probably a, a saucer for a, a teacup, I'm thinking. But wouldn't this make a wonderful uh, just holder for a pillar candle? Uh, you could do it at any time of the year. This does not have to be Christmas. Look at all of those beautiful colors in that. Oh my goodness. So that is the reason I picked this up. Uh, no, nope, no chips on it whatsoever. The backing on it is beautiful as well. I know nothing about uranium glass other than this was a really, really pretty piece. And then Kelly initially picked this up and put it down. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And there's Mrs. Claus there. Now, I looked these up on eBay. And now, of course, the top of my head, I cannot remember what they are going for on eBay. Um, but it's it's got to easily be around $25 or something. And not only just listed, but sold as well. So I did pick that up and I didn't take it from Kelly. She didn't want it. So I was happy to pick it up. I even showed her the, uh, the comps for it um, on eBay. I'll show you a little bit of the boring stuff now and get that out of the way. And then we can do some more Christmas. Um, they're shoes. So <laughs> shoe alert for those of you that aren't crazy about the shoes. I picked up these roller blades. 
that'll again these are going to be going to played again sports and are these let me see who are these by avago i believe is what that says but they're in really really good condition so hopefully they're going to take those uh running out of room as always it pays to dig i had actually been to the outlet the day prior i went on friday as well as saturday and on friday they had a gaylord which is what they call those very very large cardboard boxes filled with shoes uh, it had been gone through on Friday, so when I got there first thing Saturday morning, I knew it had been gone through Friday, but I went through again. That's actually where I found the rollerblades and a pair of Birkenstocks. These purples, well, lavender more, a very light lavender. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit, but other than that, they are in very, very good condition, and I'm thinking I can list these for around $30 or $40. I found a pair of gorgeous bass dress shoes oh let's see the the burks are what size are the birkenstocks you know it must be on the other shoe wait there it is 41 41 european so that's probably i'm guessing maybe a nine or maybe even a 10 because i think i'm a 38 and i that and i'm an eight i think i'm a 38 eu but anyway um then the bass in beautiful condition, gorgeous dress shoe here. Um, the, the bottoms even have very little wear on them. Now these I did not do any any um, research on. These are a seven and a half uh, made in Tunisia. But beautiful condition. I have no idea what those are going to bring. Now these I started to show you earlier and I held them back. Uh, brand new Nike soccer cleat shoes. I'm hoping that these bring some good money at Play It Again Sports. And that's all the shoes. So we are finished with those. Some more Christmas. This sweet little pitcher with a poinsettia on it or poinsettia, however you want to pronounce it. It says December poinsettia joyous on the back of it and it's in beautiful condition uh, I don't see any paint loss on it checking the rim here there's a little kind of like a little nip right there I'm not sure if you can tell it but that was in the manufacturing process um, so it just has to be cleaned out a little bit inside and then I found one little uh, Nico Japan just this cute little star dish that you could put candies in or nuts or whatever with the Christmas tree on it. Again, this was in beautiful condition. No nicks or chips. Now this must have been maybe at an antique mall. It says $6 box on it. I'm not sure what that is. That was the only piece that I was able to find. I mean, there may have been another piece that went with it, but um, not that I found it in the bins anyway. And this is a piece by Lennox this little sleigh. Now I'm going to try and have to try and get, can you see that kind of drip down there? It goes all the way down. So I don't know if that is something that I'm going to be able to get off or that was a manufacturer's flaw. Not certain. I'm going to try and take it off. Hopefully it will come off. Next we have from Our America. This is a, can, a candle topper. So look at how pretty that is, those cute little kitties. So after your candle burns out, you just put this on the candle. So it helps keep the fragrance in. And it just looks pretty. It's much nicer than the glass kind of jar top that goes on them. And look at the little kitties through the window. That is a really, really pretty, I think. Oh, guess who's back? Lewis, buddy. No, dude, come on. You have to go. Oh, he's prancing through a nativity right now, which is not good. If you could stop biting me long enough to say hello to everybody, that would be nice. No? Okay, he's not. All right, come on. Down you go, buddy. Nope, Lewis. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, Fanciful Flights by Silvestri is another Christmas tree ornament. And this is a, a little snowman, whoops, 
frosted glass there. Isn't he sweet? And he is flying. <laughs> At least he's trying to anyway. That happy little face that he has on him. Let me see if that'll focus better. There we go. Look at him just flying right at you. He is so sweet. And he came new in his box. Uh, this is not Christmas, but this is really, really cool. It's a wooden sculpture of a woman, but look at the back. Isn't that interesting? I just, I found it very, very interesting and thought somebody would really like this. I don't see any, let me, what do I do with my glasses? Oh, there they are. I don't recall seeing any markings on the bottom. No, there are no markings on the bottom as to who made it or when, and nothing that I can see, you know, around here either. But, Really interesting piece. Uh, this is exclusively from Robert Powell, a porcelain, oh, porcelain night light. I don't know why I was having such a hard time looking and reading that. I did test this in the store and it does work. It's made in China on uh, 1993. So there's Santa and his reindeer on his sleigh. Another non-Christmas item, though, is a box of pure water filters. And you can get some pretty good money for these on eBay. Um, I've sold several of them in the past. I haven't had any lately. Um, I may have one or two more filters upstairs uh, that are, are listed but have not sold yet, but you can get good money for these, especially the, oh my gosh, what is that? The, um, the Brita filters. Those bring really, really good money, so might want to be on the lookout for those. I do look out for them. I just don't come across them very often. And we have next is this adorable tea kettle. Super cute. Look at how cute that is. And luckily, I don't think this one had... Was oh, that a little something? No, that's a little manufacturing flaw. It's just a little nub there. Is that a little nick? What did I do with those things again? There we go. Nope. <clears throat> uh, this somewhere was originally $7, it looks like. Two pieces, which would be this and this. Oh, we do have a little nick right there in the brick. Um, this was made in the Philippines. And then the next one is this cute, kind of like a little candy house or a candy shop there. A teeny tiny little nick in the red on the candy cane handle. Those can be touched up with some paint. Um, other than that, oh, I see it. I just found another one right there. Oh my goodness, we've got a couple of nicks in this one here and here. So that one's going to need some a little TLC. Uh, this one was made in China, uh, 1995 uh, CAFF Company. The CAF Company? I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to have to look that one up. That's a new one for me, unless I'm reading that wrong. Uh, two more things to show you, and then I'll let you know what my favorite was from, from this haul. I found a nativity scene. Not everybody is here, though. Uh, made in Japan. So we have baby Jesus. A lot of time baby Jesus is missing. So we have the baby Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Mary and Joseph, one, two, whoops, and three little lambs, whoops, three little lambs, and this little lamb way back in the day was, you can barely see it, that sticker there was 10 cents, and then, whoops, that's Joseph, two wise men and one shepherd 
So we have a total of two, four, six, eight, nine pieces in that one. I did forget about these two. These are nesting Santa ornaments, which I've never seen before. Not that that means anything. Now there, are, nobody is nesting inside of them. It's just, it's just the two little guys that are outside. And then the last thing that I have to show you is, is actually something I'm keeping for myself and I had forgotten about it, is this amazing mirror. Look at this. Can you see it? Isn't that just gorgeous? It was, so this piece was in the bin, the mirror was in the bin, and then this wooden backing was in the bin in all different places. And I managed to find all of the pieces. I uh, had to put one screw in it and just hammer it up to make it a little more uh, sturdy. Now I want to glue this in. I'm going to take it all apart and I am going to, you can see a crack right there. I'm going to put some wood glue in there and clamp it up and seal that crack there so it's not quite so um, pronounced and then really tighten it up. And I think I'm going to end up putting this in uh, my daughter's uh, bathroom upstairs, which is the guest bathroom. So there we have it. That, that is everything. That was a lot of Christmas. Oh, I almost forgot one more thing. And how could I forget this? Look at this piece of vintage plastic Christmas goodness for you. Oh my goodness. This candelabra, it's got two, four down here for the tapered candles and one at the top with all of this, the um, velvet bows and doves here, gold doves and some berries. Uh, I'm guessing this might even be, or that might be, that might be plastic. I'm not sure. I was hoping the balls would be uh, uranium glass, but they might be plastic, not 100%. There's fruit on this. I just couldn't leave that behind. I thought somebody was really going to enjoy that if they enjoy true vintage Christmas. Now the bottom of it, you can see it has some wear in it, or on it rather, but I don't know. I think that's just part of what makes it so special. Okay, so that finally, everybody, is that. My favorite piece, um, or let's say, what was I most excited about when I found it? Now, I was very excited about the Madonna, and you would think that that was my favorite, and it usually is. However, I think this mirror with the coat hanger on it, which will be really good for bathrobes and uh, towels and such, this is going to be my favorite from today's haul. So... You know what to do down in the comment section for uh, the video. Uh, let everybody know what your favorite find or finds were from uh, this haul. And uh, I do hope I see you tomorrow evening for my itty bitty little live sale here on my channel at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And that's going to be January 10th. Uh, and I will ask for a little bit of patience with you because, um, I, like I said, I am starting a new job tomorrow. So we're going to kind of together we'll see how things go. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. I hope to see you tomorrow evening. If not, I'll see you later on during the week with another thrift haul. And until then, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.